So the stack's finally gone from a one high to a two high, and they're playing games with you with the backside linebacker, and you're confused. Well, coming up, I'm going to talk with you about how we deal with that linebacker in a two high stack. Hey, coaches. Coach Mackey here, and welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated to learning everything about the spread so we can master the spread, score points, and have fun. In today's Chalk Talk video, I will be discussing what we do as a team when we face a 3-3 stack team that decides to go too high and they start to play games with that backside linebacker. As you can tell, coaches, I have trips to the field. I decided to switch things up from my last video, and we're going to be running power to the right. Now, the rules for the line stay the same. If I have front side, if I have someone head up to outside, I block on. So this tackle is blocking onto this end. For the guard on the play side, I have nobody head up to outside of me, so I'm going to block down. I'm going to help out with my next man down. So he blocks down. The center has someone head up him, so he is going to block. Now what we do against the stack is we will block this to the middle backer. Since we're going power right, the left guard is going to be skip pulling to the front side linebacker, like that. And our back side tackle will block out on the end. So that leaves this linebacker right here as our read guy. And since he is on the same side as the tailback, then the rules still apply to the quarterback. Quarterback RPOs, you will run, you will read the first linebacker to the play side as the tailback. The reason why this is not the guy the quarterback's reading because he is not on the same side as the tailback. He is head up. We cancel him out. He is head up the center, head up the quarterback. We want the guy head up the tailback right here. Now for the wide receivers. Same rules apply as last time. If you're the single receiver and your guy, this corner is five yards or more off, then you will be running a three-step hitch. Quarterback knows when he catches it, he just flips his hips, throws it out here for a five-yard gain. If this corner is in your face, then the wide receiver will execute a fade route, mandatory outside release. And this is game plan. If we think we have the matchup over the corner, the quarterback is allowed to throw this. If this corner is better than our receiver, then this is dead. So let's just say this is dead. Backside now, this is when you have to play your games. If this backer in the stack is here, then it's pointless to run the snag in the end. If this backer is in this gap, then I usually tag it with a key screen, which means L will block the corner, Y will block most dangerous man, whoever triggers first, either the safety or this backer, and the F will run the bubble screen, which is one step, and then he is moving back. The reason why I like moving back instead of the traditional push off, cross over, and run the bubble is it's an easier throw for the quarterback, and the quarterback knows. I'm sorry, there's the running back's path. Open crossover through the B gap. And the quarterback knows this is my trigger man. If he steps up or comes, then I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the ball and I'm gonna throw this key screen out here. If this guy just sits there or drifts toward the key screen, then I hand the ball. Now off. when this guy is out here like this then we can run our normal RPO, which says wide receiver closest to the tailback, you are gonna want you are gonna run a snag route one yard deeper than the initial alignment of the read man. Here's the read man, so the F is gonna run a snag route one yard deeper than him. Then everybody else has a five yard in. And the same rules apply to the quarterback. If this linebacker triggers forward or over, he's going to pull the ball and he's going to throw the snag. If when he comes and then this man gets in the field of vision of the quarterback, the quarterback flips his hips and throws it right here. If this linebacker just sits or kind of just moves back, then the quarterback hands the ball off and then it is one on one 
and I like those odds. All right, coaches, so that's what we do against a two high three through stack team. If y'all do anything different, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear from it. And if you enjoy this Chalk Talk, then please subscribe. I release videos every Sunday and every Wednesday. So until next weekend, hopefully you will be studying just like I will so we can master the spread, score points, and have fun.